Um, IOActive is one of the world's leading security research and services companies. Um, we've been around for about 18 years, um, specialising in information security, cyber security, security research on IoT devices, uh, industrial controls, etc. Um, we're very interested in MENA Rail because we think that this is a new market where people aren't really specialising in or paying attention to the cyber security risks. Um, within IOActive, we're very, very careful to identify areas where there's opportunity where for the bad guys as well as the good guys to actually operate in. It's definitely a growing sector. Um, as the world gets more interconnected with IoT, and IoT is not a new thing, um, all it is is someone's giving it a new name. So with the world getting super connected, there are 25 billion devices around the world at the moment. Most people have three devices themselves. It's just a natural extension that when you start going onto a train or a plane or an automobile, that these devices start connecting and sharing information. And where that happens, for a bad guy, that's the target area. So for a company like ours, IOActive, we spend much of our time um, identifying these risk areas and then looking some ways to mitigate that risk, helping not just the train companies or the plane companies, but helping the people that are actually using those, those facilities, using the train, using it to get to work. They don't really want to get to work and find their phone's been hacked or, or something worse has happened. So we see that as our job to sort of help educate and work on that. Well, as I said in my uh, presentation, we, we did a, um, a semi-hypothetical scenario where we created a rail company. Um, the rail company had driverless trains. The train system talked to the local taxi company and it helped customers do that last mile journey. The dangers and the risks in there are that the train system, it knows who's on the train, it passes information to a cab company, and there are so many areas between those two things where there can be compromise. You know, is the cab company secure? The train company might be very secure, but the cab company might not, or vice versa. The risks are real, that these things are actually happening. Ransomware and cyber attacks are actually happening every day. things. They can sell the information, they can use the information to blackmail and, and extortion, they can actually use it for um, much deeper things. So what you'll tend to find, or you do see a lot now, is this sort of supply chain attack where I, I'm not after you, I'm not after your company, I'm after the company you supply. But the way I get in is by compromising something about you. I'll compromise your children, I'll compromise Facebook, Minecraft, something that you're using to get into your system. I then, from there, chain that event to compromising you personally, then compromise your company, and finally, I'm into the customer or the, the target that I'm looking for. So people chain, the bad guys chain these events together, um, and therefore you've got to understand that you're part of a, a much bigger picture. very pleased, um, not just before the, uh, I spoke, but um, afterwards as well, um, we were very pleased with the level of um, decision makers that came up to us. Um, plus the conversation that we were having was a very high level of conversation. Um, I personally think that when we first got there, people were kind of interested, you know, what is cyber security? But after the presentation, people were coming up and saying, how do we fix this? What do I do about this? Whose responsibility is it? Is it the rail company? Is it the, the train manufacturer? Um, who is actually responsible for doing security. And the message we're able to get over is it's everyone's responsibility, even the customer, even you travelling on the train, it's your responsibility to make sure that that train company or the, the cab company, whoever, is looking after your information carefully and responsibly. Yeah, very, um, not welcoming either, but very ready to have conversations. And we've already had follow-ups from several people, of um, very senior people, um, looking for us to help them not fix their problems but first of all to identify their problems so many people actually don't realize the size and scale of what this is and more importantly they don't even know who the attackers might be um, so with an IO active we're very able to help them recognize who the adversary is think like the adversary and then demonstrate to them what they need to do to mitigate that risk Starters regulation, very important. Um, we found uh, Eamon at DLA has been very useful in terms of he understands the data uh, regulations. Um, he's able to actually uh, express that to people. So he sets the standards or the rules of what has to happen. From our side, we can come along then and demonstrate how someone might compromise that. 
um, how we can help mitigate that and sort of put in play a level of control and procedure that you can then sort of make sure you conform to that regulation. But finally, with AIG, um, if something does go wrong, AIG specialise in that, that risk assurance and risk management area where something's happened so we can actually put something in place. So the, the actual, the three of us work very closely together, even if it's not just DLA and AIG and IOActive, the three areas should work very closely together, regulation, risk mitigation and risk management.